during Desert Shield, an order came down for us not to have uh, ammunition in our weapons. Now, many of us who were traveling from base to base, I was there building airfields, the Harriers, F-18s, and uh, the helicopters. We disobeyed the order because we were going out in the civilian community. We covered our weapons so you couldn't tell. What is going on with this president to allow our veterans and hostile countries to not have any ammo loaded or in the chamber? Something's wrong here. I've got to be straight with you. I have not heard whether that's true or not. I'm trying to find out, but I have not heard that, whether that is accurate. Uh, I just got back. It's true, sir. Say that again. Yeah, please. I just, I just came back from Afghanistan. Got this. Have increased uh, the uh, the readiness of our troops over there, but uh, prior to that, uh, whether you. Uh, Wherever you were, the, the standing order was to uh, go green, as we call it in our, in our weapons. I'm not giving out too much classified information, but uh, the gentleman is correct. And uh, luckily, after that green or blue incident uh, that we've had, and now we've had several since, um, we, are, we are going amber, they call it. Uh, so our weapons are, are ready to go. They're just not chained, which is uh, the SOP. They're not chambered? Correct. We don't, we don't chamber around into the, until we're ready to shoot the weapon. Do you think? <laughs> is that, I, I'm a pilot. I'm not a... <laughs> does that give you time? Okay. Does, that, does that give you time? Uh, absolutely. I, in all the firefights that I've been into, uh, I've always had time to, to rack around, as we call it, uh, and return fire for ATM. Always. Thank you. Yeah.